Hi, so today we are looking at the experiment uh, which is a part of heat transfer study st set of experiments, heat transfer set of experiments and the experiment is titled heat transfer study for different roof forms. Here you can see the different equipments that will be required to perform this experiment. First we have the six boxes uh, that are part of the kit. Then we have different roof forms here. This is the dome, this is the plain roof, this is the pitched roof, the pitched roof form, this is the pyramid, this is a folded uh, plate roof form and this is the vault. Additionally, we will require a couple of other equipments to perform this um, experiment. We will require a set of six lab thermometers that you can see here and additionally the temperature gun. The objective of this experiment is for students to understand how uh, different roof forms uh, have different heat gains or how heat gains work in, in terms of different roof forms. This will give students an idea of including different uh, sort of roof forms in their design based on the results that they get here that they uh, then that they envision uh, through the, the through this experiment and they can include it in the design. We will look at the procedure of this experiment. First, we will put the different roofs on top of each box and we will make sure to lock it. There is a small lock system as you can see. We will lock this roof. Once we have set up these roofs, we will insert thermometers inside the hole that has been provided in the box here. So here you can see there is a hole, we will insert this thermometer inside this hole. This here is going to be the assembly of this experiment. To start the experiment first, we will make sure that we note down the ambient temperature reading, which is, um, I mean, which this thermometer is going to give us. So currently the temperature that we have, especially under the sunlight and this, this setup will, uh, this setup is for times when we are exposed to sunlight, when we have exposure to sunlight on rooftops, on um, terraces, etc. So currently the temperature that we have, it is 36 degrees. So ambient temperature is 36 degrees. I also have the book here which in which I am going to read, note the readings. So the ambient temperature is 36. Now what I will do is I will take out the timer from my mobile. and I will start the timer. I will initially note down all the initial readings that I get for each 
set. So this is 40.3, then that is this is 39.3, 45, 44, 43, and 46. I will note down all these readings in the book and I'll wait for my uh, timer to skip a minute to note down the next set of readings. We'll do the same procedure after an interval of each minute, after an interval of one minute each and for 10 minutes to see what is the temperature variation of the, uh, the of each roof form. So 10 minutes are lapsed and we have the set of 10 readings here. After uh, this whole uh, procedure uh, or noting down the temperature of the outside of the roof form, what we'll do is after 10 minutes, we'll remove these uh, thermometers, which we had inserted inside uh, this, this box and we'll note down each reading. So the first reading that I have for folded plate is 39 degrees. I'll just note that down. Then I will remove for the pitched roof. I have a reading of 41. I'll note that down as well. Then I have it for the dome. This is 38 degrees. Then I have it for the vault. This is 40 degrees. I have for the pyramid, it's 39 degrees and the last one is the plain roof, this is 42 degrees or the flat roof. All these readings uh, inside and outside, when, they, when we compare it with each other, we will understand the students will understand which of these roof forms have the best effectiveness in terms of heat gain and can be incorporated in their building design. Thank you.